not a spring, particularly in our day six of the Cannes, um, Cannes Film Festival coverage. And the big news today is Jackie Chan is not, get that, not retiring. He will continue to be in action films. Actually, that's really good news for any of you Jackie Chan fans. And if you're wondering why that's big news, because, well, let's just say that when we received the press information, he was going to make an announcement that he was doing action films. Then it was like he was retiring from action films. Well, no, he's doing action films now. So that's why we're really happy. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. The Wrights shameless plan to tie Obama to Jeremiah Wright again. Now the problem comes is that the people, okay, they basically, uh, they've got um, a, a book out, all kinds of books are coming out about Obama that should have came out before the election, but they buried the stuff. Now, these are from people that are left-wing liberals. What it is, they don't want Obama as president. They would rather have Hillary Clinton, and they're trying to chase him out of office with the fact that, well, there was a mistake made by the president. He, his exuberance. He actually said he was born in Kenya. Well, he wasn't. That wasn't, you know, basically we all know the president gets excited when he's off teleprompter and says dumb things, which means they're admitting the president is stupid. And they also said that, uh, well, so what if they offered him, uh, Jeremiah Wright, $150,000 to get lost? The president didn't, didn't do it. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, so what if Bill Clinton basically held a meeting with, his, with, the, with a lot of people and talked about running Hillary in the, you know, against Barack Obama because he said he's an amateur and does everything wrong. So what? And the Republicans, if you dare mention any of this that's in the print now by left-wing liberals, you're going to be destroyed. I think that isn't that amazing. Yeah, and Romney ad tout still mill boosted by Bain Investment. Um, you know, the problem comes is that, okay, there is no such, uh, uh, we got Rex Obama here because he works as the president. There is no such thing as, as vampire capitalism. What happens is, if a business is going under, you come in and buy the assets of the business, gut the stuff that isn't working, and then save what is good. That's called capitalism. But to Barack Obama and his people, that's vampire capitalism. Actually, That's vampire Barack, capitalism? Uh, uh, Obama's idea of capitalism, which he announced this morning, which basically will kill the market on Monday, I, I'm going to suggest that the banks of the United States have new laws put into effect that will forbid banks and banks, lenders and stock brokerages for making risky investments. And I will decide, you know, I will appoint people to a special counsel to decide what is risky investments so that these banks will only make it, uh, investments in the interest of the American public. No. They will be in the interest of the people that he appoints to decide what is a good investment. They said, figure out you if you can't buy a house now or get money for your business, you will not get a house under Obama coming up. And weather forecast is warm for the summer. Um, it's cold. Every summer is warm. That's why they call it. I love that one. That's why they call well, it summer. It's an example of what this is one which they love, even the people on the left last night. That you know the they're using it as an example of global warming. We predict that this summer will be warm. Uh, and then the guy said, that's why they call it summer. Yes, but would it be warm without global warming? They said, that's why they I call it summer. summer. But we know global warming is responsible for the summer being warm. They said, it's always been warm in the summer. You're talking to people, it, they're, they're, they're hung up on global warming. Everything is a result of global warming. If, if it's been happening since the days of the dinosaur, it's the result of global warming. And Obama, Americans on our, are on our side on same-sex marriage. Um, okay, this is a Rex. His polls are going right down the toilet as he finds out something very important to the president. When it comes to religion, everybody lies to the pollsters. Mm -hmm. They're really, well, I believe that everybody should have the rights to do whatever they want. But uh, they don't ask him the question, yes, but you believe in... Uh, do you, would you support same-sex marriage? That's not on the questionnaires. Plus, they only go to places that are got a gay population. Uh, but they still, they, uh, they said the, the last poll they took, which Obama was pissed at, the New York Times and CBS took a poll. They're very left-leaning. They went to Democratic areas. And uh, 
three out of every four people don't believe in gay in same sex marriages, which is sort of thirty eight states out of thirty eight states have they've never lost an election banning gay marriage. And prominent legend of Christ Priest adds to father and kid. Oh, I know, and that uh, I love that, you know. So they got all of these Catholic priests that basically go out and have children all the time, but uh, they have, uh, at least they're not doing it with nuns. Mm. And scientists hunt ways to solve Alzheimer's earlier. Oh, okay. My grandmother died a long time ago. She was, you know, she was born in 1870, and she died in 1960-something. But uh, my grandmother was also, she thought she'd be a doctor, but because she couldn't be a doctor in our state, she became a major nurse. She said that Alzheimer's disease is nothing but getting old, folks. She said oh, the same things that you have of getting old is what they call Alzheimer's disease. There's no difference. And Chris Christie jokes, and no more VP questions. Well, yeah, you know, he's not going to run for VP. First of all, um, he's got enough problems in New Jersey, let alone running. No, okay, here's what they said. Suppose that Romney wanted a vice president, absolutely no one wants to be on the ticket with him. Well, because really? the Democrats are going to destroy anybody that runs as vice president, so. And New York Senate moves to close loophole on child pornography. Which isn't going to work because we discussed it before. The, specifically, the law, they said viewing, you cannot prevent a person from viewing anything because it's a violation of the constitutional right, it's freedom of speech. The, uh, the law is very specific on the federal level. You must be in possession. And uh, I heard Bill O'Reilly. Well, they're, they're, they're nitpicking. If you have it on your computer, that's possession. He said, no, it's not. It is somewhere else, and you're looking at it. He said, if, uh, ask him, if, you check, if you're looking at an e-reader e that you have not downloaded, but you're looking on the Internet, is that in your possession? He said, well, yes, it is. And he said, no, it's not. It is somewhere else in their possession. Mm -hmm. That is all. I said, well, <clears throat> we need to change the law. He said, do you want to change the Constitution? And this is where you know O'Reilly is a liberal Democrat. Well, we should, change the con we should change the Constitution to make it better understood that you can't do these things. Mm -hmm. You're an idiot. And Romney, federal debt threatens what it means to be an American. Well, you know, I mean, I, I, on my side of Facebook, I've got into battles, but basically they stopped putting the courage up. You know, well, George Bush, did, you know, taxes went up under George Bush. They went down under Obama. Spending went up under George Bush. <clears throat> spending went down under Obama. Federal spending went up under George Bush. Federal spending is down under Obama. Unemployment went up under George Bush. Unemployment is down under Obama. No. It's, it's, he spent $5 trillion on unemployment. They, they changed the rules on how to figure unemployment. Unemployment is like 14%, mm -hmm. not his 8%, it's 14 So, you know, the, 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 as it stands, as they said, four more years of Obama, you're going to have a debt. They said, we will be Greece in four more years. That's really bad. Yeah. Mexican novelist Carlos Fuentes dies at 83. Yeah, I actually, I, I, I met the guy, but I never, here's my problem is, I'm God awful old, and I said, oh, you said to see these people, God, that person is old. Well, yeah, because if I met them 50 years ago, they're old. Mm -hmm. Just like a, a gentleman over on my Facebook side, he's an inventor, he, he invests things for the industry, and I, you look at the picture he puts up on Facebook, and then I saw his new picture, he said, he's old. I said, well, I met him 60 years ago. Yeah, he's old. Yeah. Yeah. And photo disco legend Donna Summer. Well, I know. Actually, I got asked this the other day that uh, I never worked with Donna Summers, but I did work with LaDonna Gale, who became Donna Summers. And once again, we got into a debate about the fact that a lot of people don't even work on the same stage as people they're working with. I mean, I was. I, I backed up uh, Dean Reed in a thing in East Germany. Uh, Donna Summer was from, her father was in the military, so she grew up in Germany. Mm -hmm. And I, I sang and danced behind Dean Reed, but I wasn't on a stage the same time that Donna Summer was. So technically I was in the same program, but I never saw her. <laughs> so. And a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay. Uh, haters never need a reason to hate, they just hate. There we go, how's that?